In this video, we're taking a look at the top 100 most streamed artists of all time. Good to see you guys. It's been a hot minute. Let's get started. Okay, ACDZ. I want to track the genres. This is definitely rock. Charlie Poo. It's definitely pop. Great song. Not this marimba or kalimba, whatever it is. Panic at the Disco, just retired. Probably said this is R&B. Rap. Ah, uh, sick sample, right? EDM. We're already like five different genres in. This is an interesting type of like rap singing. Oh yeah, gonna be a lot of this. So this is pretty much dance hall, right? Let's say dance hall is the genre, because we're gonna hear a lot of it. <laughs> More dance hall. I have a weird like I really like dance hall. I just think it's cozy. Oh, love this. Alan Walker just made a YouTube video where he did like a song in 10 minutes, one hour, and 100 hours, I think. It was great. Fun to see a big artist like that do a, John, do a YouTube video like that. Super conceptual. So these are like the biggest artists in the world. You know, it's pretty crazy. Why Lil Wayne might only be 89th on this list, he is second on the list of feature streams with 16.4 billion. Six billion more than his lead artist streams. So I guess his feature streams don't count. 16.4 billion is a hot, like that's, how much were his total? Just 10 billion. So he has more feature streams than normal ones. Makes sense for a lot of rappers, I guess. By the way, you, are you doing okay? Because I haven't really been doing okay. And that's why I haven't been uploading that much this year. As some of you may know, I went through a really difficult situation a while back that left me emotionally numb and without any energy. But one thing that can help us through our difficult times is therapy. And that's why I'm excited that today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. I like BetterHelp because they make therapy easy. I struggle to find a good therapist in my area, but by filling out a few questions on BetterHelp, I found a great therapist at an affordable price. It's also just so much easier to jump on a phone call than to go somewhere. I honestly don't think I would be doing therapy if I had to physically go there. This way it fits into my life, you know? It's simple to sign up and get matched with a therapist. There's a link in my description. It's betterhelp.com slash roomyofficial. If you use that link, you get 10% off your first month, which helps you and helps this channel. It's an easy win-win for both of us. And yeah, I can't recommend therapy highly enough. In the past, I had some therapists that I didn't vibe with, to be honest. But with BetterHelp, you can easily switch to a new one without any additional cost or other headaches. So if you are struggling with anything or if you just want to improve your life from the inside, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash roomyofficial to take the quiz and see if it's right for you. Thanks again to BetterHelp and thank you for watching. Take good care of yourself. You deserve it. Ah... Lil Nas X is already number 88. That's crazy. He's been killing it. Okay. Yeah, we might see a good amount of K-pop on here too. Because they also have a lot of fans that listen to all their music. So they might amass more total streams, but not have as many songs maybe that are at the very top of the total, you know, like whatever. How many billion streams the number one songs will have now? This is almost weird that this is still a thing. Like, that he is number 86. That must have been so big. Dedicated to fan bases. <laughs> Morgan Wallen. Uh, he's been quite controversial recently. Forget what it is about. You can look it up. Actually, I'm gonna look it up for you. Since this is YouTube, and I can. Okay, it seems like he's used bad words. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna I don't wanna get into it too hard. But yeah, awkwardly stereotypical for a country musician, I guess, in a way. <laughs> okay. Ellie Golden. She has a special up on Amazon Prime, I think. A live concert. I saw recently. 
Elton John, 82. I mean, he's been blowing up recently, too, with, like, the Dua Lipa collabs and stuff. Oh, great. DJ Snake, man. I mean, he's got multiple hits, but this one was huge. Bieber's going to be high on the list for sure. Ooh, this beat. I'm not sure if I've heard this, but... That's so sick. <laughs> By the way, welcome back to another video. My name is Joel from Room Official, and I'm kind of back. I'm hoping to make a lot of different videos, some of these old format and some new exciting formats. We're going to have a great time here on the Rumi Official channel. I built a set downstairs for some different types of videos. It's going to be exciting. By the way, the data in this video is coming from chartmasters.org and is based on Spotify streams of songs where the artist is a lead artist. So that's why Lil Wayne can have like 16 billion feature streams and not be higher on the list. It seems kind of low though, doesn't it? Like the biggest ones have like 16 billion streams because it will be a lot of YouTube channels that have more views than that. Like, my channel has, like, 2 billion views, I think. Right? Right? Or have I taken down too many videos? <laughs> There's a lot of people with a lot of views on here. I'm just saying. Let's continue. Ah, oh, Metallica. Sick. I would still call this rock. I don't think I'm going to add another genre. Maybe I missed some sub-genres in the middle there. Very blinky video. And I know how to fight. What, what is this? What is this music video? What is this render? Ah! Ooh. This is aged so much. <laughs> R.I.P. Mac Miller. Still number 75. Ooh, good song. Ooh. It's like... Such a good transition for her to do this genre. This like gospely chords and everything. Love that. Okay. <laughs> so this was his remix of that TikTok sound, right? Or like it was a viral beat. Okay, Michael Jackson still 71. Imagine being that legendary. It's been a while since he passed now. And I guess even longer since he was super relevant. Olivia's back now. Super strong. She's going to be higher on this list soon. That new album's good. I love Vampire. One Republic is kind of a sleeper. You know what I mean? I think a lot of older people listen to them. They blew up kind of in the MySpace era. I remember they had one of the biggest MySpace profiles back when I cared about that. Gotta admit, was never a huge fan of those vocals, but it works. Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> Funny sound concept. Ah, uh, that's just awesome. So, in the music industry, I feel like a lot of people feel like the quality of a song is very important to its success and i do think that kind of like the audio quality and the mixing and stuff is important but probably not as important as music industry people think okay can you guess the top three write down your answers Ooh, top three listen to artists i would say ed sheeran's probably up there i have my genre list right here it says dance hall in the bottom i just can't write because i'm an idiot let's see i'm gonna guess ed sheeran because he has released a lot of music and he has the most streamed song, right? Apart from The Weeknd. The Weeknd and maybe Bad Bunny, because I feel like he has had a lot of hits and I always forget about the Hispanic music, so. Let me know in the comments if I'm actually using Hispanic right. Should I be singing Hispanic music? I don't even know anymore. I used to say Spanish and that was obviously wrong. So now I say Hispanic music. Anyway, let's continue. Oh. She is so much more popular than I think. These are very close in streams, though. Like, we've been kind of like between 10 and 14 for a while. 
turn some billions of streams Spotify and this is total for the artist that's crazy Avicii that's crazy again like I feel like Avicii might become more of a legend than we might have expected he did do a lot of cool music 21 pilots makes sense super strong fan base good music Okay. Doja feels like one of the biggest blow-ups in the last few years. She's a far cry from doing that cow song, remember? I'm a cow, Woo. Katy Perry still 56, cool. Haven't heard a lot of music from her recently. She might be releasing stuff, but doesn't hit my radar. Uh, music in Spanish and the amount of, like, nudity. <laughs> okay, see ya, 52. I love her story. She's such a great writer. Well, I don't love that, like, David Guetta put out her vocals without her consent, but worked out for her, it seems like. She's cool. Oh, dang. Yeah, we might see more rock stuff. Because rock music does have a lot of very strong fan bases. Pop audiences can be a little bit more on and off, is my experience. But we did already see Metallica. Hmm. Don't know how many more rock acts I can think of that will be big. Shakira. She has a lot of music. She's been going for a while. She looks pretty much the same. It's insane. On Christmas Eve 2015, the Beatles music became available on Spotify for the first time. Two days later, the band set the record for the most simultaneous streams in the service's history. That's insane. I mean, it is great music. I will say, though, I do struggle to listen to the Beatles sometimes because I feel like the mixes just aren't there compared to even other stuff of the era. Like, even the Beach Boys mix-wise sounds better, and I'm a little bit of a nerd like that, I guess, or something. But the songs are just amazing. It's such a treasure trove of amazing music. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I did that sound. It's just like close-ups of kissing. It's just disgusting to me in general. I don't know. Why. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Predictably, a lot of Hispanic music. Carol G. This song was huge. Okay, Adele 41. I would have expected her to be higher, but her fan base is a little bit older and buy more CDs, which is a big part of why she will be high on the Billboard charts while not being high on the streaming charts. Okay, Nicki Minaj. Is she retired? What's going on with Nicki Minaj? What is going on? I swear she did retire, but did she come back is the question. Wikipedia, my favorite all facts thing. She seems to still be releasing stuff. So she just released Pink Friday 2. Was that like a joke or something? Nicki Minaj retire. I can't spell. Oh yeah, so she, she came back. Her return to music on the Late Late Show in 2022. So she did retire back in 2019, but now she's back. Very cool. I for one like Nicki a lot. I'm glad she's back. Good music. No role models in Maybe she can be in Barbie. I feel like she should have been in Barbie for some reason. I guess people often called her like kind of like a Barbie type person. I'm here right now. No role models to speak up. Searching through my memory, my memory, I couldn't find one. Last okay. night I was getting my feet rubbed by the baddest bitch. <laughs> okay, Alana Del Rey. 38. Another sleeper for me, but I guess there's it's kind of the modern emo, right? A lot of sad people listen to her. No comment. You 
can say what you want about Lady Gaga. Like, amazing voice, right? Like, pipes. Pipes. One Direction! I thought it was Harry Styles for a sec, but no, it's One Direction. That's sick. Still 35. Okay. I always get really humbled by how many big rap acts there are since I'm so into pop music. Okay, Harry Styles is bigger than One Direction now. Harry Styles is the only artist appearing on this list twice, both alone and as a member of One Direction. Okay, so Zayn didn't hit it. I guess that makes sense. I'm trying to think of another Zayn song apart from Pillow Talk. I think he had something on Fifty Shades of Grey or the, the sequel to that, but I don't remember what it's called, so... That's right. Queen, 32, okay. That qualifies as a big rock band. Kind of. I'm not sure if people call this rock. It's pretty soft. Okay, Beyonce, 31. Oh, Taylor Swift, I should have put her up. She's so big right now, I swear she's gonna be really high on this, right? Wait, she wasn't on Spotify for a really long time. I forgot she was boycotting it for a sec. Oh, that's such a good uh, hook. I think it's sampled from somewhere, or... Uh, taken from somewhere. I'm not sampled. Calvin Harris. That's crazy. He's way bigger than you think. Sam Smith has more streams than Adele. Was she also off of streaming for a while? Maybe. I'm gonna look that up. Was Adele late on, on Spotify? Must have been. In my mind, I feel like Adele is like more popular than Sam Smith, but I might have that entirely wrong. Oh yeah, she had the whole thing where she wanted to remove Shuffle on Spotify. I guess it was preset to Shuffle for a little bit. When did Adele get on Spotify? June 2016, okay. Yeah, she really doubled down on the whole CD thing, which I think was smart for her. Probably earned a lot more money. Sean Mendes, oh, he's huge now. That's so cool, that's so exciting. Old Vine kid, right? Kendrick Lamar, sick. I feel like Kendrick is one of those rappers who everyone can enjoy. It's just good music. Oh, Bruno Mars. Uh, I'm, just, I'm way too much of a fanboy for this. Just liking Bruno Mars so much made me take dance lessons for a while. And then I stopped because I, I don't have the talent for it. Or the time, really. But Okay. Khaled has a lot more streams than I thought. What? Does he have like a few big songs? Like what's the deal there? Is he bigger than a lot of artists I'm more familiar with? What is it that has so freaking many views? Lovely, the uh, Billie Eilish and Khaled collab. He's got a lot of songs with a billion plays, I guess. We haven't had Ed Sheeran yet. He's definitely gonna be up there. So my guesses again were Ed Sheeran, The Weeknd, and Bad Bunny. We'll see how that goes. I don't think we've had Bad Bunny yet. Or did we? We might have had and I missed it. <laughs> Uh, I don't really know what he looks like. He does a lot of collabs, but to Khaled's benefit, he's the kind of main artist on most of the collabs. So good for him. David Guetta, dance music, man. Okay, that is still one of the best drops. The way the pads just entirely duck out, it's literally quiet. So if you know ducking, it's like, you know, uh, when the kick comes, everything else kind of goes away. And generally, you'll just have everything else just lose a bit of volume to make the kick come through. But here, everything pretty much but the kick goes away. It's so hard. Ozuna is one of the 12 reggaeton acts on the list. That's what I should say probably instead of dance hall, reggaeton. <laughs> ah, I'm not refilming this, okay? All of whom have won several Latin Grammys. Spicy. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Hmm. Ah, this is a great top line. Ooh, that like, I never noticed that before, that freaking pitch shifted, back. it makes things so eerie. Like, it goes up and down in pitch in the background. Oh, that's lit. I love that. 
Okay, and here we have Kellen Harris again, but this time it's Rihanna who's the featured artist. I mean, we are looking at entire artists, though. Oh, Imagine Dragons is definitely a sleeper. I think they're bigger outside of the U.S. than in the U.S. Like, for example, Eastern Europe and stuff. They're huge. Dua Lipa. Pretty new artist to be this high, but she was had the biggest hits there for a while. Such a genius sample. Coldplay! They've had a good run. What a career. They have some of the best live songs on the planet. I would love to see them live. One of the few big acts I haven't seen. Coldplay is the highest placing rock band on this list. Okay, so I got my answer. Wouldn't call them a rock band though. <laughs> but okay. Nine of their songs have reached over 1 billion streams. Oh, that's crazy. That's good. Hey, Billy Eilish is really high. I genuinely wasn't expecting that. I, f I feel like Billy has been more of a, you know, background-ish presence for most people after Bad Guy. That was her moment, but she does great music. Has a great fan base. Kanye, 11, nice. Oh, Post Malone, okay. They do some great writing. Great pop writer, actually, outside of the other stuff. Okay, BTS might be the biggest K-pop act, I would guess. Unless, I, I think we had Blackpink earlier. Okay, Eminem, eight. Again, the, with the rap act, huge. I think they also just, people listen to rap and rock for a little bit longer than they do to the average pop stuff. Bieber, number seven. I'm looking good with my Ed Sheeran in the weekend. I'm, I'm feeling relatively confident. Ariana. No! I want it to be one to three. <laughs> uh, okay. What is it gonna be? The weekend. What? I, what is? How is this possible? Taylor Swift. She's gonna be number one. Or somewhere. Number three. Okay. She wasn't on my list though. I'm not giving myself that. That's crazy because she wasn't on the platform for so long. She's just such a freaking phenomenon. Bad Bunny number two. Okay. I got it. I got one. I feel okay about that. What's gonna be number one? Not Peso Pluma, whatever his name is, right? Before I reveal number one, here is a video with the top streamed songs of all time on Spotify, updated this year. If you wanna watch something after this, now let's see. I have no idea who it's gonna be. Who could freaking be? Drake, of course! Oh, okay. Thanks so much, guys. This has been great. It's good to be back. Good to see you guys. I'm so excited to post more here again. And yes, check out this video if you want or one of my other videos. I've uploaded a few videos here and there over the last few months. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.